Yeah, we're gonna play some anime. Um, where is it? Library. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, guys, remember, remember Men in Black? That was a, that was a movie. This game has mods. Top chat doesn't show every single comment that goes through. I have no idea how it decides what is top or not. Live chat shows all comments as they come in. Oh, weird. Where is it? Sugar water. Guys, I actually can't wait for spooky month. Because I have a lot of horror games. And I kind of want to do some extra streaming in October. Uh, to get to get through some extra spooky games, including, but not limited to, Pathologic. Hey yo, spooky. I do like a good spooky. Nope, not that spooky. I can, sorry, I can do really scary things, but not listen to. Uh, Claimed music. Whew, that would be too spicy. <laughs> we're gonna, for the next like half a year, I think, we're gonna be listening to Opeta, and then that's it. That's all we get. I'm two minutes late to the four minutes early stream. That's true. I don't know. I mean, we, we, we haven't even started yet. How, how is everyone doing? Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining me. So early. So early. We're going to be playing Library Ruina. Then we're going to be playing some Soulstone Survivors uh, Prologue. And then we're going to be playing um, at least one other survivor like uh, <laughs> during the, the feature segment. Because, okay, listen, hear, hear me out. Hear me Before you uh, hit me with your resident sleepers, which don't even work on YouTube. Um, j hold on, hold on, hold your, hold your resident sleepers. It's a really good one and I, I want to show it off. This is, it's less a, I want to look at this game and more of a, we got to check the, I got to show you this game because it's, it's really good. I'm going to do a let's play of it for sure. Some info on the copyright. I heard fights where Melee's music is fine if there is a cutscene before it. That sounds complicated. If there is much doubt, then I, I would probably err on the side of caution. That being said, I'm not monetizing these streams anyway, so maybe it's worth doing. Let me think about that. Uh, is, it, is it claimed in the sense that if I play them, I can't monetize the stream? Or are they claimed in the sense that if I play them, I'll get a copyright strike? One of them is 100% not doable, and one of those I could absolutely do because I'm not even making any money on the streams. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, I have a coffee. You can donate to it. I'm just kidding. That's a, oh, that's a joke. Don't worry about it. Hello, Oscar. Hello, Mimesis. I'm a charging my sleeper. Nice. Um, all right. Hello, hello, Oscar. Hello, Mimisiku. Uh, are we gonna do a fan art segment today? No worries if not. No pressure if 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 it wasn't if you weren't feeling it. It's all good. Um, we're gonna I'm gonna fight some some bad guys or something. I don't know. It's been a week, so I forgot how to play this game completely. It's it's all gone. Uh. All right, send invitation. We'll see if I succeed here at all. Oh, robots. Whoa, that's weird. You guys should regularly refill your head with brain fluid. A dry brain dulls your thoughts. I, I knew I've been feeling so hazy these days. Where are we going to rob this time? I think we should go for a workshop. Workshops are rich and they have useful components too. How about an office? We should earn some infamy if we take down an office or two. I don't think we'll get anything valuable from the offices we can take on right now. A restaurant then. I'll t I like delicious stuff. 
Uh, if we're doing fan art, we need another subject. Um, that's a good point. I'm not good at coming up with these. Uh, I'll, I'll think of something. No strikes. That's um, that I'm sure of. Okay. Well, then I, I might be down for playing the intro music and, and just throwing caution to the wind then. You moron, did you already forget why we got our new bodies? Because we wanted to focus on earning without having to worry about food or sickness? That's right, we're enduring like crazy. These bodies just need brain fluid, fuel, and some repairs from time to time. We can make money without feeling hungry or thirsty. So, okay, not robots, but in fact, um, kind of mechanized automatons with the consciousness of uh, previous humans. Is that what I'm getting from this? That's true. It cost a fortune to get ourselves whole body replacements. That seems like it, 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 it's, that seems to be the case. I love your cut tutorials. Just wish I had more time and patience to get good at the game. Yeah, it, I, I, I highly recommend uh, for that sake to start a YouTube <laughs> channel, and then and then you'll have all the time in the world to uh, <laughs> to get good at the game. Except unless you're me, and then I, I'm still bad. But I, I, yeah, I totally, I totally understand that. And thank you for, for, um, the kind words on my tutorial series. It was a lot of work. And I'm, I, there's things about it that st still bug me, but, you know, namely that I haven't done episode 9 yet. More like a brain in a metal shell. Oh. Weird. So there's, like, brain brine? Brain brine in a robot. Cyborg? When does someone stop becoming a cyborg and start becoming a robot? This is sort of like the ship of Theseus, but in for the modern man. If I have every single part of me replaced by a robot part, am I still the ship of Theseus? More, okay, cyborg. It's still uncomfortable. I don't know, I, I don't have to eat anymore, but I keep thinking about all the tasty things I had before, and it makes me want to taste them again. I'm drunk again, so I'm counting on you to get the good advice out. <laughs> That's because we got cheap bodies from a cheap workshop. We just have to earn more, then we can replace our bodies with better ones. The most expensive ones can even digest... Adjust... Sorry, not digest. Adjust emotions and completely shut off desires. On top of having good performance. But those are almost as expensive as a nest, of, uh, nest household. We can worry about that later. Let's focus on money making now. It's all about money in the end. So don't bring up restaurants. You're making me want to eat stuff too. There's a piece of paper stuck in your body. Oh no. I like how this body doesn't have any sensory systems, but it's annoying to be unable to feel things like this. Let's have a look at that piece of paper first. I don't think it was in your body until just now. Maybe we got too infamous and someone sent us a calling card or something. Or maybe a cup, uh, coupon for yummy new food. Cyborgs have to have some organics. Doesn't matter how little, I think. Okay, well, I have a question to follow up on that. Um, uh, I don't, def defining line. Are all syndicates composed of such half-witted... I think we already did this conversation, actually. I'm being... Okay, the, the the subject for art today is Bimple um, Cyborg. There you go. This game's art is nice. It is. I was expecting someone more refined. Okay, so the question is, say you make a metal brain, right? Completely, completely out of metal parts, but it is, um, for all intents and purposes, uh, it, it serves to function as a normal brain, but there are no organic parts. It's all metal. Then you transfer someone's consciousness into said metal brain basically a hard drive right uh and now they are in a hard drive and you put that hard drive in a metal like robot body are they a cyborg or are they a robot you could say uh, uh just for the sake of argument i will say that the the robot body um simulates all of their previous emotions and for all intents and purposes they are exactly the same personality Minus uh, being able to feel, because they have they're metal now. I suppose that you could make it so they can feel. It's a robot. It's a robot. I guess that makes sense. 
because now, um, I, in a way, the robot body is no longer that person. It is simulating that person. Try my best on clarifying stuff through, though I am smooth brain in gameplay. <laughs> Are all syndicates composed of such half-witted individuals? Okay. It all depends on the syndicate. The city is crowded with them. You could even say there's one for every fixer out there. A number of thugs gather up and do things under a name, and you get a syndicate. They're involved in all sorts of different businesses, so it's hard to give a general description beyond that. They seem sloppy. Are those machines? They aren't machines or AI, despite their appearance. Pure machines carrying their own emotions and desires have long since disappeared from the city. These guys are just using whole body replacements and low quality ones from a shoddy workshop at that. I see. All right, shall we prepare for the reception? General Grievous be crying right now. Well, General Grievous was a cyborg, as I understand it, because he, he still had organic parts. So we can find valuable stuff here, right? We just have to chop up some monsters and take some books. This body has strength, if nothing else. We came here for loot, but what if the, that piece of paper was a lie? Maybe we are... We're too naive. I watched Blade Runner 2044 last week. Surprisingly good sequel. <laughs> Me and who? Replacing our human bodies. Our frail human bodies for metal shells. Me and who? It, it like me for real. <laughs> there is no need to worry, dear guests. In this place we strictly play by the rules written on the invitation. Yikes. Welcome, dear guests. This is the library, and I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. In this library, you may obtain the books listed on the invitation, if you overcome the ordeal, that is. It must be one of those poised by rich folks. It's all entertainment to them. Heard of that? They kidnap people from the back streets, trap them in a labyrinth no one can escape, and make them wander in here. Uh, frighten, fighting for eternity until they die, never to see light again. We've already come this far, we have to do this. Don't be so gloomy. May you find your book in this place then. Yo, I want to make a team of robot friends. The floors that can participate in the reception are shown here. So I can either use Malkuth or Roland and Imatan. Uh, I'm assuming. Okay, so question, lads, uh, or or uh, sorry, what did we con what did we uh, settle on for the the counterpart for lads, ladies? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Um, so question, everyone. <laughs> if I want to train up uh, Malkuth here, uh, Malkuth, uh, would it be pertinent or like recommended to do previous? combats with her first before I start throwing her at uh, story missions. We're simps. Oh yeah, lass. Lads and lasses. Lads and lasses. Less. Uh, I am gonna go with it uh, like ahead with this with this group, but uh, I am I'm, I'm awaiting that um, the answer on that one. There's no XP in this game. Oh. No, but there is um, character, like, the number of characters certainly gives you an, a, an advantage, right? So, assuming I can complete the goals for the patron librarian, of, you know, for, for Malkuth here, um, then I could possibly unlock an extra character slot for her. Right? And then, uh, and then she could better compete in, in like, the, the most recent story mission. I am gonna roll with Roland and Imatan. Let's uh, let's give it a go. We're fighting the robots and they actually look really cool. I'm gonna have to remember how this goes. Seems like I can easily dodge your attacks. Hmm? Oh, that's that was Roland. I thought that was Imatan. Uh, all right. So these guys rolled max, that is no good. And they're gonna attack uh, Imatan, that is also no good. So Imatan, I, I get, I feel like since, so they're gonna attack first, right? Is there, there's like no point in me trying to do a defense here? I could try and do a defense, but 
I can't do two things at once, right? Can I? I can only do like the one thing. It seems to me that Imatan is about to get their corn creamed. That sounds bad, actually. Um, all right, so we're gonna look at, let's look at all of these people and they are, uh, this guy is res not resistant, but weak to piercing, piercing, oh no, 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 piercing. Oh, I can just hover over them. I don't have to click on them. Um, okay, so slashing, piercing, and piercing with a little bit of slashing. So I can, and this guy's weak to bash. So can we do like a bash on one of them? We can. Let's do a bash on this guy over here. You can clash with Lolan to get one attack from me. I can clash with R Lolan to get one attack from me. Um, what do you mean, like? That's a that's a that's a weird one. I don't know if I understand what you mean by that. You only need to do the floor assignment to get more allies. Ninety nine percent of the time is getting certain books. Okay. Click initiate. Okay, let's uh let's initiate. Okay, I'm actually just grateful that uh, I'm a hand managed to fend that off. And look at that. We managed to do some really nice damage against that other robot lad. And they are they are actually down for the count. So let's go ahead and just send them on their way. They're weak to everything here, so I can I can go ahead and send them off with um, Imatan. We'll go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna go ahead and fight one of these guys, because these are okay, these are penetration and we have two penetration here. These are not good penetrations though. This one four one four. So let's do a good pen against this guy. Oh, oh, oh! That was no good. Oh, it's okay. We got rid of one number. We're good. If speed die of your nugget is higher than the enemy die, you can redirect attacks from allies to that nugget. Oh, right. Okay. Speed die of your nugget is higher to the enemy die. You can redirect attacks from allies to that nugget. So you can redirect attacks from. Okay, but um, I might. I don't know if I know how to do that. I'll have to. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, many hands float in the bath. They are okay. Hold on. Uh, after three successful attacks on the same target, deal three to ten bonus dagger damage. When I saw the lattice. Uh, no, I'm reading the wrong thing. Take two to five less damage from slash attacks. When hit, reduce the damage of the attacks. Attack to zero at a 20% chance. Uh, this seems like a good one. I'll, I'll, I'll throw it on Imatan. Since they are actually weak to um, slashing. Okay, so let me see if I understand what you're saying here. So, but right now both of them are attacking Roland, or Loland if you, if you want. Um, and you're saying I can redirect the attacks to Imatan. Uh, so how do I do that? Do I just attack them? This one's weak to piercing, so we could do like a pierce and defend. Or just a normal uh, pierce. So if I do that, am I now redirecting this person's attack to Imatan? Yes, it seems to be that that's the case. Okay, there is a lot of depth to this game. It is going to take me a little while to figure it out, and then eventually it'll become very, um, you know, paint by numbers um so appreciate your patience and if you have to ex re-explain something every once in a while um i also appreciate your patience then as well <clears throat> okay well that wasn't very good but you know eventually it does come down to a dice roll uh lowland is just about paralyzed which is no good and oh they rolled they both rolled very well Um, let's try, let's do like an evade. I'm not, I'm not very, um, I don't have a lot of confidence in this next bout, if I'm being honest. So we could do slashing and piercing. Are either of them weak to slashing? Yes, this one. Um, 
so we'll do we'll do that and we'll hope for the best here yeah okay so Lowland is paralyzed but this guy is staggered so that's good oh Lowland no Lowland ah okay well we can put the other card on uh, Imatan Imatan has a fighting chance here you can use one to highlight enemy attacks directions and two oh really Right, I think I did know that. Two clashes, three librarian attacks. Okay, so I didn't roll well here, but that's okay. I want to um, end this guy over here. I unfortunately don't have enough attack to do that. So we'll just, we'll do a thrust. Oh no! Imatan's almost paralyzed. Um, alright. Oh, god, that's awful. Alright, let's see. Alright, slashing and piercing. Can we do anything here? We could do, we could do like a very... Yeah, we could do something, I think. This is not gonna go well. Ah. Oh. Well, luckily, um, Imatan has quite a lot of health. They might actually survive this, but, um, you know, I don't have a lot of hope here. Oh, max damage, huh? All right, well, I did survive. This battle might be a bit uh, too much for me right now. I might have to go and switch up some cards. Yeah, I gotta, so, like, do I have to build a deck each, for each floor, do you, would you say? Because it's, it's kind of feeling that way. If I can just kill this guy, I'd be happy. Yes! Book of something obtained. I might still get through this. Uh, this guy's weak to piercing exclusively, so let's do a... Let's do this, because then I'll have a bit of defense as well. Nice! Okay, they're staggered. I could still get through this. Um, they're weak to everything right now, so I want to throw out like my bit best attack, which I don't really have any good ones, so let's, let's do this one. Nice! If, oh, if characters stagger, they take double damage. Didn't know that, actually. Certain curtain call for the reception of Brotherhood of Iron. So does this mean I have to do the next scene without uh, Loland? See, it's not a good idea to keep your brain inside a hunk of scrap metal. Isn't it still better than a frail human body, though? There are plenty of ways to enhance your body without replacing it for another. Heck, there's actually many options. Tattoos, prosthetic limbs, medications and drugs, you name it. It's all possible as long as you have the cash. Replacing your body with a machine, on the other hand, is a one-way ticket you can't ever go back on. Robotic bodies cannot resemble humans too closely, even if it's for someone rat swapping out their flesh. Your life goes down the drain right away. When does one put their brain in a machine then? When, when you urgently need a huge amount of money, you can sell off your old body and organs for a good chunk of cash. Two, when you need to do repetitive work for a long time, I heard mechanical bodies like that aren't bad for that kind of labor. Broken parts can be quickly replaced and desires can be kept under control, so it has its merits. Repetitive work for a long time? What? Interested in getting a new body? No, I was just reminded of my past for a moment. Okay, Malkuth has a exclamation point. We must have gotten a book that she needed. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we could we have a second uh, deck to play with. There aren't there even plentier ways to enhance a robot body? You'd think so, wouldn't you? But I mean, like everyone's uh, depiction of this is going to differ, right? This is going to be awful, by the way. 
I suppose I need to, I should have rebuilt her deck a little bit. So these guys are weak to bash. This guy is staggerable by anything. So uh, I'm just gonna do my best. Wapa, yeah, wa. I'm hoping that, um, I'm hoping this guy does not summon more, of, you know, of the same stuff. Lose 50% of max HP and uh, become staggered when an ally dies. Oh, there you go. Okay, so they, they lose health when I kill their friends. Uh, this guy is not weak to slashing or piercing. Neither is this guy, so I have to do bashing. Okay, question. If two enemies are attacking one uh, ally, right? Which is the case here. And I manage to, like, I attack one of them instead. Does the other one just not get to move? Like, do they not get to do anything? I guess I'm asking, can only one enemy hit one ally at the same, you know, at a given time? It's kind of feeling like that's the case. I don't think it is, but... Oh, no, never mind. Maybe he's just been rolling badly. I've been rolling maybe well on the evade. I guess... Okay, I get... Hmm. Yes? If there are multiple acts, you can't use a character that died. Um, I'm a little bit confused about the order of operations when it comes to this game. So let me let me try and ask here. This is a complicated one. This guy's gonna do two attacks, correct? This guy's gonna do one attack. If I use this card that has three attacks, does it mean I'm using the first two on the first guy that has initiative and then the third one on the next guy? Like, is it doing it in order to whoever is approaching me? Because I could like I could do something like this and evade the first two attacks and then uh, attack the third guy. No, see, I did the third attack to the first guy. What does emotion level mean? I totally forgot. Emotion level is a morale. And uh, if you get enough morale, then you get, like, little bonus perks. I, I do not have a good build for, uh, for this at all. This guy's about to attack for 15 to 20 damage. That's no good. Ouch. Wow. Oh my god. Okay, well this isn't gonna happen for a while. I guess I need to kill those lads a lot quicker. What I really need to do is um, actually build a, a good set for um, Mi Mikus? M Malkus. Malkus. Um, Alright, let's give them a new outfit first of all. That'll give us some more health. I'm not sure, like, you know, oh, you know what? Let's burn some books. I have a bunch of books that I have not burned. Book of Arnold. Let's burn one of those. We'll burn a Book of Consta. Wait, don't, don't I need that? Maybe not, I don't know. Book of the Brotherhood of Iron will burn. I'm just gonna burn, like, a bunch of books here. Book of Airy. Keep one in book of each. You are dead. Not big soup rice. What? What is happening? Okay, look at all the cool books I just got. Oh yeah, I got ro robot outfits. That's gonna be bad A. Eh? And I got a bunch of attacks and stuff. Okay, so now we should be able to build, uh, make a, a decent build for Malkus. So first of all, I want to give her a robot. We could give them, oh, Moe's page. So they're weak to penetration. I'm not sure, I, I wasn't paying too close attention. Can I, if I hover over this? No, I, I guess it won't tell me what, what I can expect to fight. 
All right, so first, yeah, let's give her Moe's page. I think that that's probably just gonna be really good for her. Ah, uh, she doesn't get the helmet. Screw the Brotherhood, such an overused faction. Oh, you guys are talking about Fallout. All right. <laughs> um, all right, so now let's uh, give her some combat. So they were weak to penetration, I believe. Penetration almost exclusively. So let's look for some penetration attacks. Inflict two paralysis next scene. I mean, this seems like a good one, but it's not what I need. Um, not seeing a lot of pen attacks. We could do something like this. Throw a couple of those in, maybe. Preparation, on clash, win, restore one light, sure. It's still this guy. This is like the only one that has double, double pen. Don't make it weird. If your emotion level gets too high, a psychiatrist comes out and forces you into a straitjacket. Whoa. Not Big Soup Rice Surprise is a T TF2 joke because the Heavy's accent is so silly heavy. I see. Um... I, I, I have, like, very surprisingly little penetration right now. Exceeded equip limit. That's fine. Uh, this is not necessarily a great loadout. Oh, you know what? Let's put in a couple of these. Yeah, actually, another one of those would be fine. All right, this is gonna have to do for now. I'm gonna try one more time to uh, do this book, uh, this book of Scorch Girl. If it doesn't work out, then I'll I'll uh, rebuild my other group and try again. Uh, I guess I'm like halfway through a scene or something. Oh, this is already not great. So these are. Wait, why did I think it was pen? It's bash. Damn it. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's let's go back. Sorry. I, I I completely did that wrong. All right. Let's remove all of this. We're going to do bash. So there's a nice bash. Bash is much easier for me than pen because I have tons of bash. In fact, I have some really nice bash do that and that I understand they cost some of them cost more so I am gonna um, kind of leverage them with some low cost Ooh, restore one light inflict one par paralysis on self next scene why no that sounds awful I want a defense and back okay here we go evade and bash seems pretty good and we'll do one of these that's defense and bash there we go this seems like a good set Okay, save current setup. Wait, no, we're not gonna save it. I've never understood the point of lager. You have to drink beer, drink ale. Ale drinkers unite. All right. So now we're, we have the correct setup. Win, inflict two bleed next scene. All right, let's, let's start with this. So he should be bleeding. Yep, they are bleeding. So we might want to attack the other one so we inflict some bleed on them as well. Uh, we can't do that, I don't have enough energy. So we'll just do like this one. So I have a burn on me. At the end of the scene, take one damage and subtract one third of the burn stack. Okay. So we have enough for a big attack. Inflict two paralysis next scene. Let's let's try it out. Nice. 
So they're not attacking me, they're just inflicting burn on me. Um, all right, let's, well, we should be able to, like, take this guy out with something weak. There we go. All right, so I've done, inflicted, like, half. This guy's staggered, so I have to, I want to attack them now. Um, so let's do this, since this is a nice chunk of damage. doing much better this time except they're about to attack me maybe no not yet soon though we need to kill their other allies so i can kill them faster oh that was bad we we clashed twice and that's like a waste and they recovered all of their defense is that am i reading that right okay let's uh oh we don't have enough for that so we're gonna have to do something uh weak Nice. Oh, they that that killed them. Great. We won. Fantastic. I've gone fishing this weekend, got two massive pike. Hell yeah. I did an escape room this weekend. It was the first social thing I've done in basically 2 years. Not like good. actively yeah, social, okay. not like uh, you know, going outside and grabbing a coffee for the first time in a week or whatever. She attacks when she has full light. Oh. So, have the books helped? Yep, I'm sorting them all somehow. It seems to be working, thankfully. Phew, that's good to hear. By the way, I think I remember Angela saying something along the lines of you earning a fleshy body the last time we met. Were you, like, not human before? It was like a replacement body, a change that couldn't ever be reverted. So you had a brain transplant surgery, but somehow managed to go back to your old human body here. That's actually pretty impressive, thanks to the library's powers, I'm guessing. Yeah, I think so. Did she used to be a robot? You can't let yourself be held back by common sense in the library, huh? I take it that you don't really like having your body back. You didn't seem too happy back then. Oh no, I actually do like it. It's just that this isn't exactly how I wanted things to go down. What did you do in the past then? Yeah, I wonder what... Uh, what was I in the past, really? You wouldn't believe it, but this is actually my third try at life. Well, this, this library and its librarians have a lot, a lot of history behind them. Third try? Can you come back from the grave or something? It's the accumulated memories from my two previous bodies that were carried over, to be precise. It's just me, or does the audio have some echo? Uh, it might be that you're hearing it from my... I've been having this weird problem with my headphones. If I lean too for, far forward, you it kind of comes in through the mic. So you might be hearing that. Let me... But the, it sucks because I, you know, I have to speak into the mic, right? My past selves, I never really thought about it that way before. A difficult problem you're facing there. How about you, your present self? I'm an irresponsible person who let down everyone's efforts. And an idiot who tried to reach for something out of my means and ended up causing trouble, I suppose. Whoa, hold your horses. Let's not get too dark there. Let's just calm down for a moment. Take a deep breath. Uh, let me just double check that I have my audio settings correct. And they look like they are, so. And let it out. Pa. In. Alright. What, what are we doing here? Relax now. Yeah, it really helped. Thanks, Roland. I should know better than anyone uh, that it's pointless to get upset over things I can't do anything about. I gotta start with the things I can take care of first. Alright, I'll try hard with my work too. Let's take our time with the problem of past selves. Here it is. Best voice line. When assistant librarians awoken, you may you now have access to new abnormality pa pages. The, pa the emotion level threshold has increased to, to level two. Pa. Pa. All right, so we have Yumi. Uh, who would like to be Yumi? Uh, sh 
I, I'm, I'm willing to, to hear votes, or if someone really wants it, I could give it to them. Morty! Morty, we, we gotta go... We gotta go back to when Rick and Morty was really cool. Remember that? Remember that when Justin Roiland didn't completely wear out their, their presence online and... Remember when Rick and Morty was funny before Szechuan Sauce and Pickles? Morty. Looks like Neville. It looks like Neville. I think I, Mimisy, and Phoenix were the first three that deserved names. Well, Imatan's already in the game. I simp for milk. I mean, I want to. I don't simp for milk. I'm reading the chat. Egg. We're the three who've played this game, right? Uh, yeah. I don't know if Mimi has played this game, have they? Egg? Does Andrino want to be, uh... Be a person? I don't think you need to play the game to be able to be a person in the game. Also, I take offense, Andrino. What? Oh. Looks like Neville. I don't know. I don't think Mimi played this. Do you want me to throw it on a wheel? I'll throw you all on a wheel. How about that? Let me go get the wheel. I wish I had a plug-in for this. Okay, wheel. Wheel of names. Alright, we've got Kevbo. We've got Neville. We've got Mimesis. We've got Andrino. We've got Phoenix. Uh, and oh, and Oscar. Who else? Uh, all right, is that it? Am I missing anyone? Let me scroll up a bit just to make sure. I think that is everyone. All right. Okay, let me see if I can get uh, this on the screen. There you go. We're just gonna we're just gonna fix this so that you don't see how many tabs I have open and how many things I've downloaded. <laughs> and oops, I messed something up. Oops. Display capture. Shrink that. And shrink that. And then we're gonna put a filter on this with a chroma key. Chroma key, and then and then we're gonna color type custom. Select color white, and that didn't work at all. Oh, 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 almost. Smoothness, can we, we'll turn the smoothness up a little bit. There we go, that's kind of working almost. Okay, okay, how's that? That looks pretty good. I don't know where to put it. All right, let's 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 do it. Wheel of Names. It's gonna be Oscar. Oscar Anderson. Hooray. Oh, you can't see that because of the chroma key. My bad. Let me see if I can't tweak this a little bit. Well. At least you can see the name now. Hype. I require a transfer to the floor of art. Who is going to be the sacrifice? Sorry, Phoenix. Whoop. All right. Get rid of that. Going back to library. Oscar Anderson. All right. What does Anders uh, Oscar Anderson look like? Are we gonna make them uh, anime hype as heck? There we go. It's pretty good. I think that looks pretty good, actually. Um, I don't know what 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 color is your hair, Anderson? Uh, I'll I'll get back to you. There, give him the give him the anime eyes with the green hair. Your mother smells of elderberries. <laughs> Rip, rip because uh, Phoenix is not a person yet. Don't worry, there's plenty of opportunities. 
And once you're a person, I'm not going to I'm not going to change that. I really like some of these these robot costumes. Actually, the art in general in this game is really cool. You're blonde? Okay, I'll make you blonde. I think that looks pretty good. Uh, it's honestly the, the, the hypest character we've got so far. Alright. Immediately makes it less hype. Um, nice. JK, I love y'all. All right, let's um, let's let's see here. What is this stuff? Do we have battle symbols yet? Probably not, huh? So now, um, if we look at the next scene, can I? Oh, did I lose? I thought I succeeded against this. What, what? Why am I having to do this again? Oh, this is a different scene. Okay, hold on. My whole body is still aching from our last job. That's lasting longer than I thought. Still, yesterday was wild, wasn't it? Yep, the new weapon you got from the workshop was a real killer, that's for sure. You don't say. You got way too excited with it, and things spiraled out of control. We had to kill 20 or more people than planned, thanks to you. Nice. <laughs> Every floor has three soundtracks. That means 10 floors have 30 soundtracks. Wow. It was Since it was a mistake on our part, we couldn't even get paid for the extra kills. Come on, don't be such a killjoy. You're the one who went on the biggest rampage in the end. Mecca's muscles are all sore because he had to try, to, uh, try hard to calm me down. Well, I said I'm sorry about it. No need to sweat it. I owe you guys a few things, too. I hate to admit it, but Tan has a point. We all should try to cool down our temper a little. As long as we're working as fixers, it's not good to raise more trouble than necessary. We'll wait for the next spot on Malkut. Cute. Former members of a killer syndicate now registered to an office and doing fixer work. Life really is full of surprises, isn't it? This office is a weird one, too. Can't believe people like us are accepted. Remember what the boss said. There are so many offices and fixers these days, so standing out from the others is the best way to survive in this industry. Our outfits are also quite radical compared to what other offices have. That's why it's filled with maniacs like us. All we gotta do is kill the targets in the most gruesome way possible and hang their bodies out in the open. No wonder everyone's excited to join. I forgot to do a content warning on this game in the beginning. Shoot. I did actually want to do that. It's no different from what we've always been doing. There's only 10 floors. At first I thought it was crazy that an office would do this kind of work. But I guess threatening targets and sending them a warning makes enough sense. It seems to be working well. Though we've only been getting requests from no-name syndicates and poor folk, this office has a long way to go. It does feel more like a pack of rats than a proper, proper office. Got a message from the boss, says we should drop by to get new work. Even rascals like those can join offices these days, huh? The whole market's a red ocean. Everyone wants to be a fixer. And that doesn't count as raking yourself over the coals, because, listen, I may not look like it, but I used to be hot stuff, you know? But then things happened and I fell to rock bottom. So what did you do for a living? I did all kinds of stuff, really. Doing things within my ability. Is that so? That means you didn't get to do any proper work there. <clears throat> Wow, we really did teleport in the blink of an eye. Is this one of those singularities? Lots of surprises these days. Greetings, dear guest. Hi there. What the? She's pretty damn sturdy. How much did you spend on that bod? There's no need to needlessly exhaust yourselves, dear guest. You'll need to rampage with all you have soon enough. I don't like your soft tone. You're not human, are you? Ooh, look at her face now. Guess she really isn't. Yet another surprise. It's so rare to meet a sapient being that isn't human in this city. I know, right? We might get a ton of cash out of this. When you find your book in this place. 
Okay, okay. Um, do we want to roll with uh, Mal Malkuth? I refuse to uh, give her the pet name. Malkuth or uh, and the Oscar San Anderson for this next bout. These guys are um, weak to pen and bash. Weak to pen and bash. So Malkuth right now is geared for bash. So let's go ahead and uh, gear Oscar Anderson up. First of all, we got to give him a page. And then we're going to go ahead and give him... Uh, what? Give, give him a page. Uh, where, how do I, what? There we go, combat bookshelf. Okay, so we gotta set this lad, Oscar Anderson, up with some pen. Let's do that, pen, pen, pen and block. Pen and bash, that actually sounds good since we're gonna be up against pen and bash, pen and bash there as well. Um, maybe another one of these, couple of those actually. Pen and defense, and pen, pen. There's a nice pen there. Actually, let's go ahead and drop one of these and put another one of those. Um, yeah, this seems okay. Look at that, it's almost like I know what I'm doing. I want to make it through the entire game. Well, I don't think you can permanently die, right? Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so uh, right now no one is... Oh, sorry, never mind. I, was, I thought that I was these guys for, for some reason. So these guys are both going to attack this lad, so that means I have to attack with something. So what is this guy? They're weak to bash, so let's go ahead and do something nice like this. Open up with something tough, and that should mean that, well, they're not redirecting because we have the same initiative. Am I correct there? Ah, so they rolled higher, so therefore they get to uh, actually follow through with their actual attack. All right. So, oh, did I not do anything? Did I not do an attack with one of them? Oops. Okay, this guy is weak to pen and bash. So let's go ahead and hit them with a pen and bash. And then we're gonna hit the other one. This one is weak to everything right now. So let's hit them with everything we've got. They're gonna take double damage, so bash, bash sounds great. Oof, okay, this guy is actually pretty tough. We managed to kill one of them and we got ourselves a buff. Uh, the first two combat pages the librarian uses after this abnormality. Pages selected gain the match light status. Whenever the librarian uses a page with match light, gain one ember. Pages with match light become stronger based on the amount of ember. However, they have a 25% chance to damage the user. Uh, I'm good on that. I don't need a risk reward attack right now. One hit, inflict one to three burn to the attacker and gain a buff at a 40% chance next scene. Offensive dice, inflict one burn. This is great. Love that. Um, let's throw it on Malkuth. So we should be pretty good to, to kill this lad now. They are weak to bash and pen. So perfect. So we'll throw both, of, both at them. Yas, staggered. And now they take double damage, and they are dead. Nice. That worked out very well. Okay, we're on the next scene. So, these guys are... Uh, this guy's weak to bash. This guy is weak to pen. So we're already set up for these two lads. This one, however, is weak to bash and pen in different orders so one will stagger them and one will actually damage them so i think that my current setup will work pretty well for them however i actually don't have a lot of hope for this oh they only have one to three dice so that actually that, that gives me a bit more hope at least in our in terms of our uh, attack order 
Okay, all right. So let's re let's divert one of these attacks. So this guy is weak to bash. Um, so we want to attack them with this lad. Sorry, with Malku. Let's go ahead ahead and hit them with uh, a bash and redirect them. And then this person is weak to bash and pen, which is just great. So we'll hit them with hard with a bash and then pen. Smack, defense, smack, staggered, kill. Good. It's going well. All right, we've got we've got our new Ember thing, and I'll put that on Oscar Anderson. Okay, this is this could be okay. This guy is weak to pen and a little bit of slashing, which is fine um, because we can throw out a pretty heavy pen attack at them, and that'll have an Ember on it as well. And then this person is weak to bash, and that's perfect too because we can throw a, a heavy bash on them. Also, you can equip battle symbols in library and info tab. There are small boons that your nuggets get when completing different objectives. I did see that, but I don't seem to have any battle symbols, so I don't know what I'm meant to do there. Oh, that guy got staggered in one hit. Oh, that guy hit pretty hard. Um, we basically want to keep things the same. Let's just do a normal attack on them and then this person's weak to bash yes so we're gonna hit them for a nasty bash he'll get to attack Oscar but that's okay honestly well it was debatably okay I think I am actually understanding how initiative works now so like it's this guy's attacking him if I had the same initiative or lower and attacked them, then things would happen in order, meaning this person would attack first and then I attack them, or I can divert them if I have a higher initiative. So like, you know, I don't want to do it now because it doesn't really make a difference in this case. In fact, I want to hit them with the bashing person. Let's do like a defense and bash. Actually, am I wrong in thinking I actually don't want to attack them with this person because then they'll divert the attack. I guess it doesn't matter too much. Everyone gets attack, attack eventually, right? Whoa, that actually staggered them. I'm certain that you have them. Okay, I'll, I'll check after this. Curtain call for the reception of Hook Office. When you actually build your deck specifically with the combat in mind, then it goes very well and it's a very satisfying game uh, if you try to build general decks that um, you can apply to a different you know every situation you're gonna have a bad time i think great at work as always i could learn more about the offices thanks to these guests i don't get too bothered by what they said about you all right are you trying to console me? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't really care if you're actually human or not, you see. That's refreshing to hear. It's been quite a while since I heard such words of comfort from even one person, too. Well, we're in the age of humanity, after all. Age of humanity? What does that mean, exactly? Don't stare at me too hard now. I don't know all the details, either. At some point, intelligent or sapient beings or that weren't human were actively driven out of the city into the outskirts. I'm not too sure why it took place, but the Artificial Intelligence Ethics Amendment was introduced as part of that movement. It was already possible to create machines capable of feeling emotions and desires, actually. Those that are pretty much human, in other words. I guess that was the problem. Thanks to the AI ethics amendment, no machines could ever be made to resemble humans, including replacement bodies. Though there seems to have been a few exceptions. It's, the, it's as, as they say, I'm no human, I'm a machine, an artificial being. Oh, that's a twist. To, pre to be precise, I was designed using a human as a template. Only a fraction of her brain was used in my creation. So it's not even a human brain resting in a robotic body? Not at all. I'm purely a machine. What about that fraction of human brain you mentioned? It was only an electronic copy of the map of her brain. Yo, it's like exactly what I was saying. So by our uh, agreed upon definition, she is a robot, not a human. Not a cyborg. 
My body is entirely composed of mechanical components. I had a feeling. It's it, really weird. I was talking exactly about this, and then it happened in in the game. <laughs> it looks like you've been living under a rock your whole life, seeing how you're oblivious to the workings of the world. You got to be extra careful then, especially if you're planning to leave here someday. You're a sapien android with emotions and desires. Your existence is most likely a complete violation of the AI ethic commandment. The head's scarcely, scarily good at spotting anomalies like you. Oh right, in case you don't know, the head is basically a bunch of shady creeps that roll over the entire city. It was funny on how you predicted it out of nowhere. <laughs> Though we probably won't ever get to face them. Though anyways, this whole library is at a huge risk in the first place. The librarians over here also seem like they're human, but not really human at the same time. It's just as you say, I was designed to feel emotions and I spent that felt... I spent what felt like an eternity on a stage repeatedly performing a play that never seemed to end. And when I thought it was finally over, it turns out it never really ended. I gotta say, whoever created you must have been really been something else, too. I don't know what motivated them, but breaking the rules de designated by the head itself takes more than just guts. No one can escape the head's enforcement. They did all eventually die. But the library will be safe. It has to be safe. It's a, like a birdcage. No one is free to enter and no one is free to leave. Again with that dreamy speech you despise so much. What do you even mean by that? I will leave this place one day, take revenge on all things that made me into what I am, and earn true freedom. I don't care too much either way. That's that and this is this. I do appreciate the bouts of story in this game. They are actually really refreshing. Um, you know, it's it's pretty meaningful dialogue that doesn't feel too drawn out, you know what I mean? Like, I've played my share of visual novel, and uh, they have a tendency to really kind of, I don't know, spread dialogue out too thin. Let's see, this guy's Yasad from Floor 2, patron librarian of technological sciences. Hey there, name's Roland, Angela's servant. I am Yasad, the patron librarian of the Floor of Technological Sciences. Is it just me, or is this a cold and piercing stare I'm sensing? Feels kind of different from Angela's, I gotta say. I do also really like the art in this game. It's not typically anime. It's got a bit more of a style to it than uh, than I, I'm used to in, in this kind of game. Um... Uh, what now? Don't tell me. Are you one of those types that resort to violence? Violence when someone talks crap? Oh, he's... he's... I see. He saw his two tie was loose. Your necktie was loose. Oh, thanks. Guess you're a nice fellow after all. He's gonna punch him now? No. Tell me, why do you comply with Angela's orders so meekly? The art is anime with edge. Kind of a little bit reminds me of uh, Ghost's Trick, if anyone's played that. I would love to do a playthrough of Ghost Trick on stream at some point. One of my favorite games. I think possibly the best game on the DS ever. Here it goes with the, um, the Unga Bunga floor. Oh no. Tell me, what, okay. Well, mostly because I have no choice but to help her. Now that I think about it, Malkuth didn't seem too fond of Angela either. Is it a trend to dislike her or something? It looks like a Korean webtoon. Well, I mean, that makes sense because this basically is a Korean webtoon, right? Am I wrong? Am I wrong about that? Oh, no. Uh, I didn't mean to say that, but... Uh, it's obvious that we wouldn't approve of her. Angela, Angela she utterly crushed our hopes at the very last moment. Sounds complicated. Why are you working for her as a librarian then? It was part of the deal. A deal, huh? I guess that deal is also why most of the floors of the li library are locked off and your librarians there are asleep. Boy, I am not a fan of convoluted stories, especially if it involves sentimental stuff. It's gonna be your best friend until floor of literature. That is true. Let's give it our best shot then. Put her there. What is the meaning of this? A handshake. Duh. Never tried it before. You know, the I look forward to working with you kind. 
Come on, lighten up a little. If we can't avoid it, we might as well enjoy it. I'm supposed to get you books like I do with Malkuth, right? Indeed, my role is to collect and sort books about the technological sciences of the city, specifically. Since it's become clear that we are both well aware of our occupations, kindly take your leave now. Fine, fine. I was about to anyway. You can now select the floor of technological sciences during reception. A patron librarian has awoken. We have a new librarian. Urban myth. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. They do not have time to think about the terror at the end of the song before the setting of the song. Any more reports on the distortion from the Hana Association of Zwei? Section 1. None, sir. They're all obser observing the situation for now. They did not. They did nominate a number of likely suspects, however. So far, we have two urban plagues, Laundry of Dreams and Yesterday's Promise, and one urban legend, The Church of Gears. The investigation hasn't been going too well, is it? Oh, and the library. A recently appointed urban myth is also on the list of possible sources. Uh, so even the higher-ups are clueless, aren't they? Seeing as they're throwing out random guesses now. I'm starting to get used to sorting out books now. Tell me, why are you helping me so submissively? Yeah, this is the second time he's been asked this in like five minutes. What? Remember when you said you'll kill me if I don't cooperate? Because I sure do. And I can't leave here by myself either. Though you don't appear to be motivated by fear. I've seen quite a lot of people crawl along the floor stricken with fear in here. Judging from my past observations, I doubt you're helping me simply because you're afraid of dying. My favorite character from this game is named Nut Zack. Jesus Christ. Not <laughs> Mimesis, you you delete that comment right now. <laughs> that is not that is not the uh, appropriate contribution to what has just been s put on the table right now. I know you didn't mean anything by it, but damn, it's just not not a. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, listen, uh, the legumes, I like them, okay? Let me say that. I like, I like, uh, in fact, sitting not so far from me right now are some peanut, uh, some garlic peanuts, and I, I like them a lot. They're, they're great. I like legumes. <laughs> Mimesis, I, I, I'm not, I swear to God, I did not try and pigeonhole you into into a weird thing there. That's is why, why I'm a tan. Are they actually called that? Tell tell me the truth. Are they actually called that? Um, yeah, I I do actually love me some mixed legumes. Um, <laughs> although they aren't all technically legumes. Um, I suppose only peanuts are legumes because they are. Are they peas? I have to look this up now. I don't want to make sure I don't say something incorrect about legumes. Hold on a second. Legumes. 10 best legumes to eat plus nutritional fact. Okay, so legumes are basically peas. Yeah, okay, okay. So not all nuts are legumes, my bad. That being said, I was correct in saying I enjoy a good legume because sitting uh, very close to me is in fact a legume. It's some garlic, g garlic peanuts. If you didn't know, peanuts are not nuts. They are in fact uh, peas, hence the name. Um, the peas and pe peanuts are both legumes. Peanuts are basically dried. Uh, and when you think about a, like a bean, like an actual bean, like where the peas come from, uh, they they look and are shaped a lot like peanuts, aren't they? Maybe they are called that. You never know. Yummy pistachios. Pistachios are pretty good. Are pistachios nuts though? I don't know. Learn something new today. Yes, you learn something every day that I stream. Maybe, maybe, or also you could possibly unlearn something. I am I am uh, definitely known to spread some information as well. So 
cucumbers are melons. Yes, and bananas are berries. That's not a joke either. Uh, it really, like, when you when you start to learn about what is and what is not classified as something that you would think it as, like, for instance, a berry, a, a nut, a melon, um, you start to realize how meaningless uh, strict definitions are. And that's why I think the roguelike genre is a, no longer a useful title. <laughs> Full circle. Well, not really, but you know. What the hell are you doing in the past? To be honest, I have a few things I want to know about this place too. Such as, you said you want to get the perfect book as you gather books around the city, right? I figured I could run into some fun experiences if I joined you on that journey. I don't have a whole lot to do out there anyway. I'll go back to being a washed up fixer, scraping the bottom of the barrel again. And there is one thing I've been meaning to figure out more than anything else. I'm hoping I could maybe find an answer here one day if I stick around and help you out. Oh, we have a coincidence of interest, I see. Sure, as much as I exploit you, you're free to make use of me. Hmm. Try to be careful about it, though. A careless attempt could seriously get you killed. Sheesh, you're being way too vicious with words. Just what made you so sharp? You better not pry into my past any further. I already feel like slowly melting your limbs this time. Fine. I have a question, ma'am. Do you take questions, ma'am? What is it now? Make sure it's an appropriate question. I did warn you already. What's up with the librarians here? They don't really feel like humans. But they don't seem to be machines or artificial creatures either. Entities called abnormalities and employees, both of which were thoroughly exploited by the facility that once stood up upon where we are. Are they talking about the lobotomy facility? Just a washed up grade 9 fixer. So here's my prediction. Um, this just seems like the most like obvious. Uh, uh, what's the what's the term? Um, uh, shoot. It starts with an e x. Uh, shoot. I I think that uh, Roland is not alive anymore. I think he he was. Everything was who who was here is already killed and turned into a book, in a in a way, um, and they're all they're all dead, including Angela. I think, I think maybe the uh, here, possibly they're all robots, or maybe they're all books. But either way, um, the only uh, result here is going to be a tragic. We can like destroy the books and then finally die or something like that, or destroy the library. like Asian there. Nah. They're just like me in that sense. Originated from humans, taken advantage of and abandoned once grown out of use. No, you were wrong, I'm sorry? Okay. Well, that's good, because I, I get to guess, but if I'm wrong, that means that uh, it's more clever than the most obvious, uh, you know, thing. I don't know what you're doing with them now. Still looks like an exploitation. They were broken. They couldn't even sustain a stable form. And they exist their existence was so fragile they could fade away at any moment. They're barely kept together as I've bound them to a physical body and a book. All I can do for them now is to find the one book that will free me and the librarians. You're going to release the librarians? That's the only way for any of us to leave, you know? I use the same kind of power to reconstruct your body. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember this, as we collect numerous books from our guests, we will eventually reach the one absolute book that contains everything. Now, I, I, I don't think Imatan spoiled anything. It just confirmed that what I was saying was incorrect. Okay, so we have Yasad. I don't think I'm going to put Yasad into the rotation until uh, I at least unlock one slot for them. But I'm... I'm good to do that you can now send general invitations what does this mean general invitations are, are sent to unimportant guests who won't lead the plot however they can be resources to help grow the library take the following steps one to two below to send a general invitation the types of guests that take interest will depend on the value of the books you register choose any books you'd be you'd use to register as your books of the day by clicking on an empty registered book. 
Uh, putting in a combination of books that is used for a red invitation story character will invite the matching guests instead. Okay. Where, where is the general invitation? So I can just like, oh, I see. So I can just like throw in a bunch of invitations into a book and then send that Korean SCP human with extreme emotions either distort into an anomaly or manifest their ego which makes them super powerful huh do I want to do this now or do I want to continue with the story I'm, I'm good with either. Uh, wait a minute, it's not letting me. Do I need some stuff first? Uh, yeah, so I can't do this yet. If it doesn't turn red, then it's a general invitation. Um, so what am I doing? Should do general invita invites before you do stuff that give good key pages and combat pages. Okay. Well, it seems to me I can't do the next uh, thing, so. I'll, I'll just do the hooks because I have a lot of them. Uh, Backstreet's Butchered. Oh, I see. That's the one selected. Okay, so week two, pen and bash. Week two, pen and bash. Week two, pen and bash. So I should be good with... Um, I'm going to continue with Malkuth and Oscar Anderson because they're set up for pen and bash. And correct me if I'm wrong, can I can I kind of work like that? Like have a team that's set up with like, okay, this one's set up for slash and bash. This one's set up for pen and bash. This one's set up for slash and pen. And then just kind of rotate them for whatever I need. Oof, this is spicy. Let's redirect one of these. This one is weak to bash, so let's go ahead and oh, bash and pen. Okay, so we can we can hit them pretty hard. Oof. Okay, that was nasty. Uh, next general invitation is going to be two urban myth books. Okay, so I, I guess. Am I like searching for the book I need to invite the next story element? Ouch, staggered, not good. Um, one hit, inflict one to three burn on the attacker. I may as well take that and put it on uh, Malchus because she's probably gonna die, but she can inflict some burn. For for now, yeah. Later, you will specialize with passives and the abnormality pages. Oh, I meant to look at the emblems. My bad. Okay, this is actually pretty good. What I could do is redirect this one attack so that they don't attack my staggered character. They are weak to pen. So I'll do pen and defense. So this way, um, Oscar is gonna tank the entire fight. Oh, they're probably gonna get staggered, aren't they? No, they didn't get staggered, amazing. Uh, I really need to kill this lad. So 
they are fatal to pen. Do we have pen here? No, we don't. I need to hit them with this character and then I might actually be able to kill them. So let's do a nice kind of evade and bash just to kind of recover a little bit. Ouch, 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 stop it. Wow. Okay, so we killed one of them, but damn, it's not looking good right now. Um, all right, this one is weak to pin and bat. I guess it doesn't matter right now, but uh, yeah, things are not, not looking good. Uh, I was really hoping I could stop that. You just forgot to put the selected book for the story invitation. Uh, did I? So I'm about to get staggered. This is this is very very bad. Staggered. So I'm about to eat eat it. Oh my god. And and they're staggered. So I've lost. There's there's like nothing I can do here. All right, that did not go well. That went very, very badly. Um, so I, oh, okay, I can, I can continue with a different one though. So this one's set up for pen and bash, and then Imatan is set up for basically their general. They just have a little bit of everything. I should be able to make it with this one. Oh, I, shoot. Damn, I meant, I meant to look at battle symbols and I forgot again. Okay, so, um, pen and bash, let's see here. We have slash and bash. We have pen and bash here, so let's go ahead and hit them. Oh, yeah, um, hmm. No one here is weak to slash, so I'm probably gonna have to Figure that out. We can just do some defense. Uh, defense and bash, that works out. This is no good. I mean, it's okay. I, I, I weakened their defense a little bit. Let's do like a double bash. Oof. back oh yeah no no worries um hmm. i guess i should be aware of what my characters are weak to as well because then that tells me what they're what what kind of damage they're about to take and not just like look at what uh the enemy is weak to did i not select an attack for them oh that's so stupid So now I can't. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the other one because I want to. Like I think it's better to, to take out a number than it is to. Oh, except they. Stop me. Okay, it's better to take out a, an enemy than it is to uh, weaken another one because they'll recover and then and then I'm kind of screwed. Okay, pen and bash. So none of this. Well, okay, pen and defense. That'll work out. And then we'll do. A nice old double bash here. Perfect. That worked out well. And they are staggered and we win. Nice. Here we go. I totally forgot. No. Curtain call for the reception of Backstreet's Butchers. I've sent the fan art from last week's prompt. Yo! I could do that after this segment is done. 
So we got some stuff from the Church of Gears, I think. Uh, let's burn a couple of those books. Is different a reference to Orlando Puccioso, an Italian epic poem by Ludovico Ariesto? Ariesto? All right, look at all this nice stuff I just got. We just got our first zero cost combat card. That's kind of nice. Okay, you said I forgot to put in the correct book. Oh, right. <laughs> Jesus. All right, let's uh, look at uh, battle symbols. Can I, I? I should be able to do it with anyone, right? Passive attribute, 50% chance to boost slash damage. Oh, they have good slash damage, and I don't really have them set up for slash at all. Roland should be a slashing uh, character. All right, so let's look through all the battle symbols. Oh, I have one. Obtain condition during the rat's encounter, defeat Pete. Oh, it's just HP one. Engraved memory, and then I have a headwear. During the Brotherhood of Iron encounter, gain paralysis three times, but I this is negative one HP, stagger resist plus one. So these two counter each other a little bit, um, but then I get resist uh, stagger. Okay. I should set up, um, I should set Roland up with slashing because he's got, he's got buffs to slashing, but not, not really anything else. Could do like pen and slash, slash and defense, we'll do a couple of those, uh, pen, slash and evade. Gain two strength on the next scene. This, this is a nice one. These are all expensive though, so let's give him some low cost ones. Evade and strike. And, uh, oh, we can do another one of those. And then we'll do like one of these. So they're full slash now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Save that as Roland slash. There we go. I don't know if there's much point in saving a build because it's bound to change later. Um, all right, let's let's do one more general invitation. We'll do uh, the guild, the the Church of Gears. And one of those, and then we can throw in a, like a book of consta. There we go. Okay, um, these guys are weak to pen and slash. Sorry, pen and bash again. So we're gonna roll with. Um, these guys with Malkuth and Oscar. On a successful attack, inflict one paralysis at a 25% chance next team. Oh. Do we, um, can I get, um, put battle symbols on, like, anyone? Like, if I have already put one on Mal uh, on Roland, for example, could I also put the same one on Mo? Or are they like specifically equipped to that one. It seems I can't, There's a, the interface could, I think, use a little bit of work. It's a little bit confusing. I'm trying to fi find the battle, um, battle icons, but I guess I have to go to like specifically altering that page. Wonder if Oscar could use a bit of tweaking. <clears throat> they are set up for Pen and a little bit of bash. So we could give them a better bash. 
We don't really want to give them a better bash, though. I think we want to give them more pin and defense. I like this commandeering, though. So I'll do that. And... Um, there's not really a lot of good stuff here. On Clash, win, restore, one light. Okay, we'll do that. I guess I already had that one. And then we'll do pan and defense. Not super good stuff right now. I need I need more uh, pen cards. All right. Macro Macronomicon. Church of Gears, you say? I did say Church of Gears. He didn't even fight them even. Well, I have some pages that have a gear on them, so I, I had to assume that was Church of Gears. If it's not, then whatever. I, I'm, I'm fine. Okay, all right. We're about to eat a bunch of damage, so let's do like a defense and bash. Nice, staggered them with one blow. Yo, Oscar is an absolute tank. That was really good too. It took a little bit of damage, but I, I have to say that worked out really well. You can equip battle symbols before battle, between battles for sure. Also, every BS is personal if you completed a certain challenge with a nugget. Nuggets get the drip. Oh, okay, that, that actually, that's pretty good. I appreciate that. Oscar can absolutely tank those, so we're just gonna hit um, this guy and kill them. Oscar, I don't think there's any like particular like thing that they have that is making them very tanky, but they just seem to be able to tank the hits. So we're going along with that that lore. Dead. I think we we're gonna win this pretty easy. Oh, it's a gear pie. We're gonna put this on Oscar since they take the hits. Uh, okay, that's no good. We want to redirect one of those. This guy is weak to pen, so we should be able to pen pretty easily. Let's give him a nice chonky pen. Oh, I didn't put one on the other one. I, I always forget to... I forgot to put an attack on, on Malku. No good. Alright, we'll do a, a big attack here. We'll focus fire. Ugh, no good. Staggered. Ouch, also staggered. So I'm gonna have to, I might need to, to prioritize here a little bit. Nope, we're okay. So since they're attacking um, Oscar, I'm gonna take the opportunity to try and uh, kill that other character. Ouch, that hurt. Church of Pi Gira. Okay, we should be able to kill them now. Um, let's do like a couple of evades. And we'll hit them with a just a chonky pen. Evade, evade, no, hit them. Staggered. And they're also, they have that fire pen as well. Nice. Done. Okay. So I'm going to do the next story mission and then I am going to call it for Library of Ruina for today. But we've made some pretty good progress. I should burn some books and I guess I need to look through um, each character and see if they have battle pages. Kind of wish there was a way to like automate this process a little bit. I'm not sure if like a character has a battle page. Five percent chance to boost pierce attack damage by one percent. This is great because he is piercing. Uh, Two percent chance to boost stagger damage of each type. This is good, except that looks like garbage. Why did he have to get that? <laughs> It's the old, uh, oh, this, this, this gear is better, but also looks like garbage, um, conundrum. 
We have, oh, well, Yusad hasn't done anything, so we don't have to worry about Yusad. Does Imatan have anything? Oh no, it's the same one. Okay, okay, oh, oh shoot, no, never mind. He looks even dumber now. Uh, it looks so stupid. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nope, not this. That won't do either. Can't seem to find the one that strikes me with inspiration. You're right, it is a gear. I, or sorry, a pie. I thought it was a gear. Hey there, Pierre. I brought you some fresh ones this time. They got bruised a bit too hard, but they're still breathing. You can click on the eye to hide it. Oh, okay. What, busy developing a new dish? Welcome, Jack. Dishes are one thing, but we're running way too short on ingredients these days. Luckily, I have my reliable friend Jack here, so I won't have to worry about uh, that for a while. What happened? The musicians of Bremen say they're no longer selling ingredients to us. Those freaks were always unpredictable. What about little piggies, then? Same deal. Stop trading with us. We'll have to do this the old, the old way. You and I together. I'd love to, but we can't go to our usual spot anymore. The, uh, the Zwei Association is safeguarding that area now. Then we should pioneer new supplies. Chains. While we're at it, I want to be more experimental with new ingredients. I've been using only one young ones for far too long. That's unfortunate. I'll miss the pasty hand pies that you make. You'll have to deal with it. Unfortunate as it is, since we've lost several vendors that used to pr provide a quality meat for us, sticking to conventional dishes won't cut it. Gourmet, uh, gourmets will surely notice the drop in the quality of our ingredients. You were aiming to become one of the eight chefs, right, Pierre? Today on Pi Gear, Lolan drives over Angela with Toyota Honda and gets turned into a popcorn machine. Malcute breathes cutely. Iasan invents blunted trauma and solos entire game. <laughs> I love bottom gear. That's right, the eight chefs are the brightest of the stars of the city that shine over us. They never fail to present us with a stunning and sensational flavors. What kind of new ingredients are you looking for? Aged ones should be easier to get, though their meat tends to be squishy. It's not everyone's favorite, but some like it. It's amazing how we went from Hand of Gilgamesh, possibly one of the most, like, you know, cute and approachable games, uh, to this, which is also a card game, but also just, like... Oof. I'm not looking for a compromise. I want a taste that differentiates us from other restaurants. Ever heard of the library? I heard monsters live there. It may still be an urban myth, but monster meat is usually hard to get unless we travel all the way to the outskirts. Ugh, oh, now that's promising. Isn't it? I've got an inv invitation from that library some time ago, you see. I'll surprise the gourmets with a dish that's so stimulating and novel it could even rival the eight chefs themselves. So, Jack, you can just count on me and follow my lead, understand? Uh, what are we going to do with the ingredients I brought today, then? Uh, let's turn them into jam. We're bottling them alive, so put them on drips of anesthetics and repressors and store them in the neater. Ugh. Meat jam's nice. I knew you'd love it. Oh, and as I said before, you'll have to put them leg first, not head first. We gotta keep them alive as long as possible, you know? It's not as flavorful if they die too quickly. This is just gr gratuitous. Cannibalism is a thing in the back streets, it seems. There are quite a few perverted maniacs who are into that, yeah. But it's kind of a taboo even in the back streets. You certainly can't go around saying how tasty human meat is. It's actually the wealthy folk who consume human meat the most. Aha! Uh -huh. so, social commentary in my anime? Never. Absolutely absurd. People there only care about pursuing the ultimate flavor, and we'll do anything for it. 
Each part of the back streets seem to have its own set of characteristics. It mostly depends on the policies set by the nest and the wing, though most of the back streets are being neglected anyway. Is human meat particularly delicious or anything? Heck, if I know, never try it, never wanna. Those guys are kidnapping ordinary people and cooking them right after. Gourmets seem to think that such cruelty only adds to the flavor. Even worse, they believe cooking people alive and making them suffer as much as possible is key to perfecting taste. Humans eating humans, what a sight to behold. Mmm, this is a brand new smell. I don't think I like this scent. Now, Jack, it's unfamiliarity like this that brings forth new ideas, you see. If you say so. Greetings, dear guests. Uh, I'm gonna tweak my settings here a bit. I've been noticing my my lad is not speaking as consistently. I am Angela, the director and librarian of my role's namesake. Wow. What a wonderful looking ingredient with such a glossy appearance. She certainly looks like a fresh top great ingredient on the outside, but Pierre... Yeah, I know, she's unfortunately not a human. But that's why I'm even more excited. How do you how do you taste? I'm afraid you cannot do any harm to me. We never know until we try. Stay calm, Jack. We should keep our man manners. She's the wonderful individual who invited us here, you see. Oh yeah, I apologize for my rudeness, ma'am. Now then, Miss Angela, may we enter now? May you find your book in this place. Angela constantly looks like she's sick of it. She's just, she's good. She doesn't, does not want no more. All right, again with the bash and and uh, pen. So we're gonna go ahead and roll with Malkuth and Oscar Anderson again. The world of Library of Ruina has so many ideas for different dispoke, uh, dystopian concepts. Yeah, I appreciate that. It, it very much is a kitchen sink kind of world. Okay, this guy is weak to pen. We're gonna go ahead and hit them with some pen. Let's hit him with a nice chonky pen. And then this one is weak to bash and pen, but we only have bash to offer them. Let's hit him with a really chonky bash. Ouch. Ouch. What happened there? How come I didn't get my attack? Oh, I guess they, I guess he rolled poorly. This guy seems to have regeneration things going on. Which is no good. Uh, well, this is gonna suck. It's okay, Oscar can absolutely tank. Oh wow, we, we really don't have a lot of uh, energy, or whatever you wanna call it, pips. Bash and pen seems like a good idea, cause then we can um, stagger them and then do a nice bit of damage with the pen. Stagger. Oh, nice. That was good. You can hide your battle symbols, by the way. Good later on when your characters look like Sans Undertale. Oh. Alright, this one's good on Oscar. Oscar's got some pretty good beefy attacks. Uh, okay, so we want to double hit this guy while he's staggered, and then maybe we can kill them. Uh, I'm just gonna hit him with a weak attack. I think we can probably kill him with this. Oh, oh, okay, just barely. I was cutting it a little bit close. All right, now we're we're good. This is the first uh first person who has one to five, by the way. I just noticed they had one to five as an option. So bash and and uh, pen. So we're gonna hit them with a pen. Nice chunky pen. And let's hit him with a really chunky bash. Staggered, oh no! But we staggered them as well, so we're good. One of your patron librarians gonna be full on sans.
Okay, this person is turbo dead. Book of Pierre obtained. We're good, we're done. Curtain call for the reception of Pierre's bistro. Bistro, sorry. Ugh, what a bunch of nutcases. It's best not to interact with the likes of them. At least they were more well-mannered than you. Well, here's a word of wisdom for all still naive Miss Librarian. For our still naive Miss Librarian. If you meet a polite and well-mannered person in the back streets, run for your life. Not all lunatics are polite, but polite people tend to be lunatics. Wow. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with politeness. And here's another word of wisdom. Lunatics always exist in any given group of people, so there's no point in using any criteria to divide people into groups to see which is more insane. Not people who like anime, they're all totally and genuine. <laughs> they're all totally and genuine. They're all, they're all great. Not, not a single uh, bit of, of uh, you know, lunacy to be found amongst and inside the anime community time for pie yo anyone watch the finale of the uh, wildermyth uh series <laughs> what a load of bull so we have uh a, our page for the Assad. i would like to do this i wouldn't mind doing this now to be honest but the thing is, is, I don't know what to expect, right? So it's, I feel like it's better to just jump in and then find out what we need and then build our deck. So this person is weak to slash and pen. I don't even know what Yasad is equipped with. Uh, not that, really. This guy is truly something. Okay, we got some slash and pen right here. Right here for you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ham, ham, pie, pie. No more time for pie. No, it's always time for pie. Gives Pluto call cobalt. I I know exactly what you're talking about, Phoenix. Um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. All right, let's just do some evading and slashing. Ouchies, staggered, no! Oh my God. For floor of technological science, it's play, it plays like a caveman bash floor. Okay, so now we know what to expect. We need slash and pen. Let's go ahead and throw some slash and pen on there. Bang, bang. All my best cards are in bash. Well, this one's not bad. We'll throw a couple of those in there. Maybe this one. And then we need some evade and slash. Evade and slash. Slash and defense. Uh, pen. We'll throw another one in though. That, and then there we go this works out and we also want to give them a actual uh, key page oh I should have took it taken note of what kind of damage the um, the guy was doing so now I don't really know oh I just equipped him with oh man now I have to remake this uh, okay Do a couple of those, slash, slash, defense, pen, slash, slash, uh, slash, slash, defense, and slash, slash, pen, slash, evade, evade, slash, and um, pen. All right, I think that's probably okay. All right, let's try this. Actually, well, let me have another quick look. Um, do we have any? No, I haven't done anything with this character, so they wouldn't have anything. I had to check just in case, but we should be okay now. Malkuth floor is arson floor. Yasad is bashing meta. 99 speed floor. You say bashing meta, but it seems like bashing is the only thing that they're 
strong against, ineffective and endured. Did I die? I I don't think you did ever know. On hit, inflict one bleed in the next scene. Slowly, I am uh, breaking down the defense. I really enjoy games with that kind of detail. Nice. All right, we're doing well. We have good dice, but we're also just hitting hitting well. Okay, so they're gonna hit pretty hard. Um, so let's just throw, I, I don't know. Ouchies. That's the worst because now I'm also staggered so I can't do anything. Like when they stagger me on the first hit, then it's it's really bad because I like I basically can't do anything. You saw it is so strong that you can't get you can, you can get infinite speed with a strategy. Uh, I, I think I'm just gonna try again with the same build. I feel like maybe it was a little bit of luck that hurt me there. Defense, defense, and then an, an attack. All right, well, we don't really have much I can do here. Let's just do a, a weak attack, and then we'll inflict some bleed. Okay, that's no good. All right, defense, defense again. Let's do, um, actually, this, this attack kind of sucks, doesn't it? Gain two strength on the next scene. That sounds good. That worked out, except I, I took some stagger damage. Did Oscar die? I don't think so. Oscar is a very chunky lad. Cool. So now I'm dying. Um, what is the what is the strategy here? Because like I don't seem to be able to hurt this thing at all. Deal double da stagger damage on successful attacks. Fear. All dice lose four power when the character has status effects. So we're just dead, huh? This sucks. <sighs> Read the passive is, is very important in abnormality fights. Okay. So do I need to put status effects on this guy? Is that the deal? I feel like I need to have a lot of defense and evade for this guy. Um, certainly, I don't think some of these cards are very good. Get some bleed pages from Bistro. This guy also does more damage. Oh, I guess I have that's because I have the passive on there. All right, well, you can inflict some bleed with um, some more of these. Gain one haste next scene. On hit, inflict one bleed. This is a good attack. We could add another one of those in there. Bleed, add two power on the next to the next die, inflicts two fragile. That sounds good. Actually another one of those would be good. Let's take out this one and add your two slow again. Alright, let's see if this works. Does it require some grind? Did you burn the, the hook office books? I did, yes. I think I did anyway. Pretty sure I did. All right, let's inflict some bleed. 
So all dice lose four power when the character has status effects. So we should, if I if I inflict some bleed on them, they'll have status effects. So they uh, should have fear now, right? Can inflict even more bleed on them. So this is going much better this time. Inflict two bind. So they're gonna have bleed and bind. Oh, there we go. There we go. Better to do this, honestly. Oh, that didn't kill them. Have you checked out, checked out Stone Shard? Um, yes. <laughs> uh, okay, so I have done, I've, I've, I've done a Let's Try of Stone Shard and I've also done another Let's Try of Stone Shard. I've been, I think, I'd say pretty like open-minded with Stone Shard, but I think ultimately I don't like it. I think that um, pretty much everything I see about it, it gets updated with things that I don't like still. Like, a lot of the stuff is, is you know, aesthetics and, um, I, like, some gameplay, but I, I feel like that game needs a truckload of quality of life features before I would come back and play it again. Damn, check out how orderly these books are organized. The compulsion is almost scaring me at this point. Your clothes are still slovenly. He straightens Roland's attire once again. I appreciate it, but it feels kind of awkward to be honest. Proper attitude of the mind begins with a well-conducted body. I guess I should say thanks. What is your business this time? Nothing unusual. Get some books to deliver and got some questions to ask. Heard from Malkuth that the librarians here used to be humans long ago. Is that true? It is. Were you all seasoned brawlers in your past lives then, like the ringleaders of syndicates? Although many institutions... Sorry, my intuition as a fixer is telling me otherwise. Your observation would be correct. None of us lived such a violent life. Save for a couple of exceptions, that is. Knew it. How are you so skillful at dealing with guests, though? It's thanks to the books. We gained the powers of the previous guests through their books. Oh, so that's why you guys seem to grow sort of stronger with every book I gave you. And the library books act, to, act as a source of power. Emotions can do the same. Though the books, through the books, we can imbue our own bodies with the sense, uh, senses and strengths that were engraved in other bodies. Moreover, the library can amplify the emotions of its denizens. It acts upon uh, visitors and residents alike. These books are a lot more impressive than I thought. They might even be better than the surgeries and tools most workshop shops have to offer. Information is one thing, but this could be a real moneymaker. You think in secular terms. Call it the pathetically tearful survival instincts of a man who lived most of his life in poverty, will you? Anyway, that's all for the, my questions. Thanks for your kind answers. Don't mistake this for kindness. I do not particularly think highly of you. You're nothing more than Angela his little lap dog. What? Hey, that's rude. You know I didn't take this job by my choice. Does that necessarily exempt you from guiltiness, however? Now, if you're done with your errands, kindly take your leave now. i a little piece of shit. Alright, so we now have three teams at uh, level two, which is great. Uh, upon a successful blunt attack, inflict one bind and paralysis. Okay, so it seems like, um, it seems like uh, Yasada is very blunt trauma. Who wants to be the new character? Shall I do spin the wheel again? That is still an option. Uh, let's see here. Oscar is removed. We have five, five people still on the wheel. I've heard people like the latest update. I thought it looks pretty cool, but in that case, I need some more games that uh, more 
polished? Um, it's not as polished in terms of aesthetics, but I think Tales of Magiel is kind of a good comparison game to uh, Stone Shard because it has that open world nature, but um, I don't feel like, I don't know, like, even if you play that game in roguelike mode, I don't think it would be as punishing as Stone Shard in uh, rogue roleplay mode. Like, I know you can kind of save the game in Stone Shard, but it still feels insanely punishing in that you have to go and grind a lot to level up, and then you can get taken out by something that, you know, feels trivial. So, I feel like um, if you're looking for, like, an RPG-ish experience, probably Tales of Magiel. Or, of course, and I, I try not to beat this drum too often, Caves of Cud is always going to be my answer when it comes to anything traditional roguelike or roleplay game. Give it to Phoenix. Phoenix should be the next on the Malkuth floor. Uh... But, uh, Phoenix wants to be on Malkuth, though. This is Yasad. I saved myself from when Malkuth's floor has another slot. Okay, in that case, I'll take Phoenix off and we'll roll the dice with everyone else. And uh, Phoenix will forgo. You know what I should have done is roll, spin the wheel anyway, and if it was Phoenix, then Phoenix gets to automatically get the next Malkuth. But nonetheless, it's Mimesis. All right, Mimesis, do you have some preference on what how you would like to look? Library, Mimesis. Mimesis. Uh, Mimesis seems like... Uh, I, I didn't do this for uh, Oscar, my bad. I'm sorry, I should have given you some, some openers and stuff. But I don't think it really matters. In fact, I might just, like, skip it. Um, Mimesis has pink hair. I'm just looking at the avatar and I'm trying to see what, what you know, the, the, the hair color on the, the avatar. Green or pink. Also, Caves of Cut is awesome, but I stand by Bimple's endorsement of Tales of Magia. I would stream or do more Tales of Magia for the channel, but it's a real pain in the butt for recording. Um, it's just, it's just is, it's, I, I can't stand it for recording, but, um, you know, that being said, that shouldn't be a problem for most people. Mimesis, do you, do you see a hair color you like? If you, if I scroll by one that you like, make a note of the number on the top and then you can, uh, let me know. I think this one looks kind of like your character almost, something like uh, I don't know, maybe not. Oh, this is kind of fun. This is almost the uh, Giorno Giovaschi, whatever. <laughs> uh, Jojo Part 5. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, hold on. There you go. I still have the wheel on. on. I kind of like what we're doing here. We'll give you a different expression, don't worry about that. This is nice. You can pick? Alright. I think that this works pretty well. I like that there's a top and bottom option. You can mix things pretty interesting. Alright, and then, uh, here you go. Uh, Mimesis is gonna have like this kind of like anime spunky look, you know? Uh, do we have something better for, oh yeah, there we go. There, that's perfect. Light pink please, okay. Let me see if I can get like a pastel pink. Is that good?
Um, <clears throat> do you want, like, <laughs> I don't know, that, I think that looks pretty good. Rhett says hi, also she wants to be a librarian when no humans are left. Her name is Salsa. Okay. Mimesis, do you want to have the, the hammer? I kind of like this uh, homeless with the hammer look thing going on. You can also have a librarian jacket. Let me know if you like any of these. You like the... Actually, this kind of suits your character a bit. Can you give Andrino a big belly? Or you can only change their faces. I'm pretty sure you can't do that now. Yeah? You like that? Okay. There it is. Mimesis is now on Team Yasad. I think this looks, like, perfect. <laughs> butcher's page. Yeah, I'll give, I'll give you the butcher's page when you when you get your character, Andrino. Alright, that's gonna do it for um, Library of Rowena. I'm really enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun and the story is, is really good. It's it's pretty stellar. 